guys hope uh, all are doing well okay today we are going to learn important topic that is how to account additional cost of purchase or additional cost of imports okay here we have a transaction that is on 1119 we have purchased 20 units of uh, medical supplies at the rate of 100 total amount of goods is 2000 okay we have some additional cost also freight charges 1761.9 which is VAT free and a shipping cost 1500 for custom clearance charges that is also 1500 total input VAT is 250 that is on 5000 3000 here and 2000 here okay so let us start uh, we have uh, many more things to learn here okay uh, we will learn uh, how to claim VAT on the import also okay and uh, we have to learn uh, how to add uh, additional cost these additional cost to the stock item which we have purchased okay we have to add this okay we have to arrive total cost so one more thing is uh, get total cost of purchase with supplier invoice number filter uh, here uh, you can get all total cost of this purchase with the filter button of supplier invoice number when you enter supplier invoice number you will get the total cost of that uh, invoice okay and uh, one more thing is generate separate payable report for goods supplier and services supplier normally what happens in tally if you take all the additional cost uh, with this purchase uh, it will go entire amount will go to this supplier okay good supply uh, the supplier who supplied the goods so again uh, you have to clear uh, additional cost uh, from that supplier and you have to generate uh, outstanding okay outstanding report here it will not happen here uh, in one with one entry it will generate separate goods uh, separate uh, outstanding for good supplier and separate uh, outstanding for service supplier and uh, one more thing we are going to learn uh, this uh, effect of this import on the balance sheet and uh, profit and loss account i will see the bad report also okay so let us start i'm going to from uh, get to f tally i'm going to accounting box here uh, I am entering here you can see purchase if you cannot see purchase here uh, you have you can go here and click or alternatively you can use function 9 button f9 here uh, I am entering supply invoice number date party international supplier select from Poland is purchase account here uh, medical supplies here purchasing here we you have multiple uh, codes if you have multiple codes it will list out here you can select i have only one main location so what is the quantity you are purchasing 20 units at rate of 100 okay 2000 enter here you will get a screen okay tax detail screen here you have uh, you are getting nothing so what you have to do you have to press space bar you will get multiple nature of transactions here import taxable okay for this transaction it is import uh, taxable import i'm entering to put total taxable value you have to calculate okay on which you have paid uh, input vat you have to enter that here five thousand thousand as a uh, goods value and 3000 is additional cost so on 5000 you are paying input vat so enter enter if you have multiple stock items you can select okay enter general auto post here is an option okay enter yes what you have additional cost freight charges freight charges what is the amount 1761.9 61.9 enter and shipping cost 1500 shipping cost 1500 and uh, custom clearance charges custom clearance charges 1500 and input VAT 
upon 5000 that is 250 right total total is 5011 okay so you are paying to uh, some uh, custom let us say customs payable that this is all this is some favor okay you are paying all these things to the customs yeah they have all the services you know or if you have multiple parties you can select here or uh, so providing all these services okay enter what is the total amount okay. here you have never you have to select new reference here okay enter Enter. Enter. Oh, is posted successfully. Enter. Okay. Now you can see the report whether it the additional cost is added to the purchase. You need to see what is the additional cost. The total is five eleven, right? Let us see. Let us go to stock summary uh 511 and uh, plus 2000 total 711 okay 711.9 the entire cost is allocated to this medical supplies that's is it correct total is 5 uh, 2000 is goods value and all other additional cost okay you can make the total and uh, you can confirm it is uh, giving the uh, rate per piece it is uh, the total cost is 350 okay it was 200 direct cost additional cost is added okay so here it is okay stock summary is okay now now you have one more report that is mis report okay here you enter total cost of purchase you will get okay here you if you have multiple uh, purchases 100000s of purchases if you have you just enter this uh, reference number okay here you you can enter supplier invoice number okay if you enter supplier invoice number it will show it will show the particular supplier invoice number here i have only one that is showing okay here one one more report and uh, you want to see what is the effect on profit and loss account see here purchase 6761 what was the total 7011 okay 7011 this 250 it is not including to cost why it is it has gone to input vat okay so what where you will see input vat let us go to balance sheet input vat okay here it is in debit that means you can claim this okay so what is the Uh, next entry uh, in one entry it has happened <coughs> all the things are happened and uh, what is what is remaining you have to see separate outstanding reports for this okay good supplier and service supplier go to display statement of account outstanding payables here you have customs payable is 511 and uh, good supplier is 2000 so you got uh, separate reports also okay for uh, no need to post any other entries to deduct the uh, additional cost from the supplier good supplier okay so you have separate report so what we have to do and uh, we will see the vat report also display attached report vat vat return here you have incomplete or 
mismatch in information entry. Why it is in incomplete? Input taxable. Here total value of goods is 2000 but we have entered 5000 in that screen okay in that additional screen so what you have to do you have to just enter enter and accept this <laughs> now you come to that's why report accessible value you can get okay on this you can calculate five percent and uh, you will get the total input VAT uh, monthly or uh, quarterly you can arrive the total input VAT so what is the, uh, let us uh, make a sales entry and we'll clear the we'll claim input VAT and we'll make the payment VAT payment also what is the balance payment we'll make we'll go to accounting vouchers sales enter sales any customer will check it is domestic uh, sales okay supplies medical supplies 20 units i will sell 10 units what rate we have to sell 350 total cost is 350 okay after we have purchased at 200 have to sell it at 350 no the minimum is 350 cost is 350 Above 350, you have to sell. Okay, so it's a look at uh, 370. So, what is the total output? So, what is the total output? Right? Now, again, we go to this balance sheet detailed 277 output VAT and uh, input VAT is 250 okay I'll clear this what we have to do for that let's go to accounting workers F7 journal it output VAT to 77.5 and debit sorry credit input value what is that 250 right and balance is at pay after So you again go to balance sheet one. Now no input VAT, no output VAT. It is VAT payable. Okay. Now you go to counting office payment and select any bank VAT payable. Enter. 7.5 it's cleared now let us go to balance sheet now so no duties and taxes okay no input right right payable nothing is there only supplier payment you need to make what is it 511 2000 for good supplier. I will learn for that. Also, you, you can make payment before doing this. These entries, uh, this VAT payable entries and payment entry, you can make uh, this entry. I'm paying cash supplier. Who is that? Supplier? International supplier. Is the amount 2000 against reference against this invoice? We are making the payment, and one more is service supplier 
just was it was it Madam Chief Custom Spare okay Cash Start table five one point nine against this. Here you can see same uh, supplier invoice number you are getting. Okay, and that against this supplier invoice number you have paid this additional cost, right? So enter. So one more. Who is that? International supplier. Okay, again, the same. Now you go to balance sheet. Everything is cleared. You go to display. Statement of account outstanding is able. Nothing. Okay. This way, you can do a single entry. You can get uh, many benefits. Okay, so if you have any queries, you can comment. Okay, on the comment box. So hope uh, this was uh, helpful. Okay, kindly if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe to my channel. Okay, I will add my contact number in description. So we have uh, many other videos also. We'll add the link in the description. You can watch those videos also. It was it is very, very useful videos. Okay. Until the next video. Bye bye.